guys, welcome back to part 10 of Project Portsmouth on FM20. This is the sort of final episode uh, of year one. Now, um, I probably will do uh, another wrap up episode at some point. Um, maybe when we get to sort of the, the season award and stuff like that, we'll go through it. But this is the final two games of the season in a live com. Um, obviously, we had two games previously, two 1 0 wins prior to, uh, sorry, two 2 1 wins prior to this. Uh, which puts us in a really good position in the league. Uh, so I'll take you through what's happened, and then we'll get into those two games. So, we played Rotherham. We won 2-0, uh, thanks to a last gasp penalty. Was it a penalty? It wasn't a penalty, but it was still a really good goal. Um, we dominated the game, as usual. Surprise, surprise, Ben Close was fantastic. No assists and no goals, but he was man of the match. Um, so we'll show you what happened in that game. They actually took the lead. Um, I was using my alternative formation again, and I feel like it just isn't really working. Um, I don't know why it's not working, but so we start off. We, we, yeah, we can see the goal. We were on top of them though, and then here we go. So lovely ball uh, over from Seddon into Williams. He's been really good actually recently. He has fully taken over harness to that first choice, um, and he again whips it in, and Evans managed to get the the final touch. So very nice from him, and uh, like I said, uh, uh, like I said, um, Williams has been fantastic. Really good to see him playing well. So that's uh, a nice two-one win, and then we played Blackpool, and we got another two-two-one win. Uh, they managed to bring back a, pen uh, a goal right at the end of the game, um, but I put us onto full defensive and all that, and we managed to to do all right. So I'll take you through the goals really quickly. We scored right from kickoff, literally from kickoff within the first minute. Um, lovely ball here, out to Williams, he crosses it in, and there's Mark Barr with the header, who again, he's been on good form recently, and Evans tucks it in from a penalty. Um, like I said, 90th minute, they managed to get a goal, nice goal from them, but it wasn't enough to win the game, well, it wasn't enough to equalise, so, we're doing really well. Um, in the league, Bristol Rovers have won, they have won the league on 89 points, um, We've got a lot of draws for a second place team, but the, the good thing is the league is now in our hands. Um, we, as long as we win both our games, we win the league. If they all we win their games, um, Ipswich and Wickham, they're still a point behind us, so it's ours to lose. We've got a couple of what you would regard as easier games. Probably shouldn't have said that, but one thing to really quickly mention: look at close here. Most player of the matches nine. Uh, third highest average rating, really good to see. But obviously the goals is what's laying us down. Although Marquardt managed to get up to 15 now. So fair play to him. He's managed to sort of bring it back a little bit recently. Um, but we still expect a bit better, don't we? Anyway, so that's where we are at the moment. We are now about to play against uh, Southend. Now, McCrory just picked up a 2-4 to four week injury. So he's out for three weeks now, so we won't be able to play him. Uh, we are going to drop Naylor in there, put Close back in. I rested Close for the last game because he was a bit tired. We had like 84% fitness, something like that. Um, I also rested Bolton because he was on like 88, so he can go back in. Um, I don't really know what to do about Harness. He's been absolutely woeful recently. Um, we're going to criticise him. Okay. Uh, despite our improvement... I've expected better from you. I don't think I've played that badly. Our run was hardly season defined. I don't appreciate that. Okay, fine. That didn't go very well, but that's fine. Um, on the bench, I think I've stuck with... My, I think these are my two favourite centre-backs now. Um, Raggett has been consistently good. Like He hasn't made many mistakes. Watmore's made a couple of mistakes, um, but nowhere near as bad as... Um, Burgess and Downing's been pretty good as well. He made a couple of mistakes, but he's been fairly consistent. Um, on the bench, we're going to bring. We've got got no right. Well, we've got Cannon who can play right back. So in terms of midfield changes, we're going to bring in Morris. A couple of unfit players, but if we need them for 15, 20 minutes, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, May is actually going to keep his spot, I think, um, just due mainly to injuries, and he was quite good in the last game, so May can keep his spot. And I think that's what we're going to stick with. Um, again, we've taken out play out of defence now because it's causing too many defensive mistakes. And we're just going to go with it. Um, May might be a bit of a struggle in terms of fitness because he's played the last game. Um, and he hasn't got a very good match sharpness. But 
he should be fine. We've got a couple of players who can come on in his place. Um, was it mainly Cannon and Morris if we need to? So can we? Because we can potentially secure second place here if the results go uh, in our favour around the kind of around the league, and we manage to win this game. But we're going to need a couple of good results here. We dip switch and Wickham to lose their games or draw their games, and we get promoted. I think if we win, assuming Watmore doesn't make another mistake. And this goalkeeper is really good as well. Look good, Ray. Twenty-seven. Still got a very few good years in him, and he's already a good Championship player. So definitely need to try and keep hold of him if we can. Oh, unlucky. Good little run down the wing. Like I said, Williams has cemented himself now as that first choice. On the left, we're a little bit struggling. I keep rotating between Evans, Harness, and Harrison. Um, but, well, well, we'll keep going. A little bit of a close game. I don't think changing anything's really going to help us in this stage. I mean, they've, they've got quite a defensive set up there. Um, I think changing our formation and maybe with an attacking midfield we might just leave us a bit exposed. So, we should probably just stick with what we're on. Hopefully, we can profit from that. Um, but obviously playing against free set. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They've made a mistake. Oh, I was just about to say playing against three centre backs as a lone striker for Marquardt would be really tough. But he's done really well there. He's just, you know, on that pressing forward on attack. He's caught Lennon off guard, rounded the keeper. Lovely to see. Um, we are going to go uncautious now. Um, although, <laughs> as I go uncautious, we concede. Typical, typical. Um,. Like I said, though, I do think that it's going to be tough for Marquardt. I know he scored, but it's going to be tough for him. I think we're going to move we're going to move a couple of things around here. So we're going to switch. Um, we're going to bring Williams off. And we want Harrison or Curtis. Curtis, no. We're going to bring Harrison on. We're going to play like that. Um... Evans hasn't been playing very good. Can anyone else play there? Cannon can play there. Okay. I f I'm tempted to maybe do that. Put Williams in there. Because Williams has been playing well. Yeah. Let's do, let's do that. This could be interesting. We could end up struggling here now. We could end up losing the game. Might have been a dodgy decision, especially because Ipswich are now winning, although Wickham aren't, which is very nice to see. Come on, guys. I don't really know what else I can do. I mean, Seddon's knackered. Evans has been terrible. Can't really do much about that, though, at this stage. Why are these the wrong way around? That's terrible. What's that going on there? Um, Harness can't really play anywhere else. Curtis. Yeah, Curtis can come on for the last little bit. Come on. Come on, guys. Have faith in you. Go and get that win for us. Come on, right. Here we go. We've got a highlight with five minutes left. We haven't got play-out defence on, but we're still trying to do that as Ragged just whips out field straight into one of them. Oh, dear. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. Come on, Curtis, what can you do here? Is that Shadow Striker? Can you whip it across to the... Okay, we've got a corner, we've got a corner. Five minutes left. Can I give us a highlight? Mm. One of those pointless highlights, is it? Seddon, close. Oh, what a waste. Oh, we've drawn the game. Let's not bottle it now, come on. Because, oh no, it's not in our hands anymore. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's no longer in our hands. We were we had it. We had it. Um oh. Don't know what to do here to be honest, because obviously now if they win both their games, Ipswich and Wickham puts us down to fourth. So we have to win our last game and we have to hope that they get, you know, they don't win both their games because Wickham beat Lincoln. That was their hardest game as well. Um, and Ipswich beat Rochdale. 
Hmm. I am concerned. I mean, to be fair, Southampton needed needed that to avoid relegation, so that was you know fair play to them. They played well. We didn't play well at all. And um, we got this guy on trial who was recommended to me. Um, oh well, like, it's good. It's, we just good for a seventeen-year-old. Huh. Okay. Um, we had this guy recommended to us called Guillaume, and we got him on trial. He looks fantastic for an eighteen-year-old on a winger as a winger, and can also play really well as a striker. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him. He's probably going to be worth quite a lot. Um, I don't know if it will show me sort of his estimated value. Um, estimated cost unknown, but I think he is really good. Um, I want to see if we can get him. We're going to declare interest and just see what happens. Uh, definitely some interest. Okay, fine. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to skip ahead to the final game of the season now. Um, we'll shape, well, I'm, I'm assuming Wickham and Ipswich will have both played their games by the time we get there. So what we'll do is we'll skip across to that game and then we'll show you the results of the pre what, what happened with them. And then we'll start the final game of the season against Burton. Can we do it? All right, so we are here on the match preview screen. We are just about to go into the final game of the season and I'll just show you the league table. <laughs> Wickham drew, Ipswich lost their last games. So again, we've been given another lifeline. The league is in our hands. If we go back to the last game day, Wickham drew one all with Gillingham and Ipswich lost two 0 to Doncaster. So we're back in our hands and we need to win to ensure promotion. Otherwise we're gonna have to do another episode for the playoffs, which I hadn't even considered. I just thought, oh, it's fine, we'll be fine, but after that, that previous draw, we were in a bit of a tri tricky position. But, we are here now on the final game of the season. I am going to stick with this. I think May has been good since he's come in, so I don't really want to drop him. Um, we haven't really got anyone else. I mean, Evans has been playing maybe quite poorly. Um, Curtis is low match sharpness, so Harness can come in. Um, we are going to stick with that. It's not the best team, I guess. It'd be nice to have a couple of our big ones back, like McCrory in that defensive role, McGee in box to box, maybe even Hoban. He's been he was good before he got injured. So whew, here we are. <laughs> this is it. This is the big one, guys. We just need a win. Um, Burton beat us earlier in the season, despite them being near the bottom of the table. So it's going to be not going to be easy by any means. I think they are. Um, are they safe now? It must be. Oh no, they're not. Okay, they're actually bottom of the league. They're still bottom of the league. <laughs> they're bottom of the league. Um, but they beat us last time out. So we need to make sure we put in a good performance. Fingers crossed. We can do well. Okay. So we've got a highlight here. I'm actually going to turn this down a bit, just a touch, in terms of the speed. Oh dear, it's not what you want to see. Oh no, oh no. Joe Powell, I'll tell you what we need actually. We also need latest scores up. Oh, how, how has this happened then? Okay. Oh, Harness, he's done nothing for the last few months. But he has come out, got a goal when it's important. That's now one all. Ipswich are drawing one all as well. Oh, okay. Can't change this screen, which is a shame. I would like to change this screen to say what the latest results are. I can't even change that screen either. Jesus, what's going on? I don't really, can I change this one? No. Okay, it's one all. Ipswich are drawing. Who was the other team? <laughs> Ipswich and Wickham. Wickham are losing. Oh my god. Okay, so we're still we're still gonna go through as in second as it stands. Um, we're gonna let them know that I'm far from pleased because we definitely need to work harder. It's been a really close game. I want, to, I want to win, but I'd also would rather draw. I don't want to lose, and I think not losing... Oh, I don't know what's more important. We need to win, really, because I, I, I wouldn't bet against Ipswich or Wickham coming back into this game. 
Because Wickham are now drawing, I think, by the fact they're on 81 points. Oh dear. Right, who's not playing well? Williams, that's a, that's a disappointment. We will bring Williams off then, move Heinz on to the other side and bring on Curtis. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it's looking okay. May's not having a great game, but we're going to leave him on. I think, like I said, I don't want to go on defensive because I need, I really need us to get out. Oh, I don't know what goal difference is like. I'm just, I'm just praying now. I'm just praying. Come on, don't let that league table change. <gasps> okay, league table. Yes, I think it's finished. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Have we done it? <laughs> Did Ipswich and Wickham both draw? Right, I'm disappointed. But let's go through what happened. You're up. We just... <gasps> okay, we just got a Steam achievement saying you're up. I think we might have... Oh, wait, let's have a look. Ipswich drew and Wickham... We come last 2-0 to Accrington in 15th place. Oh, we've done it. I'm absolutely delighted we've done it. Oh, wow. That would have been a stress, pure stress, if um, we hadn't have made it out in second, if we have to go through the playoffs. New budgets. Okay. Oh, okay. Transfer budget of 4.18 million and a 140k per week transfer. Wow, this is, this is big. This is really big. Um, Portsmouth fans are absolutely delighted. Really good to see. They um, think that this guy, who's a Portsmouth favourite, said that he played for Portsmouth for five years. Fine. Um, he's he's really happy with me. Saying I've done a good job. The board are really happy with me. Delighted. Got ten thousand pounds for that. Oh, 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 and look at this. This is really lovely to see. Oh, I'm oh, I'm so happy. We've done it, boys. We've done it. We are through. We've been promoted. Promotion Joy. Tony. League One Player of the Year. Oh, wow. 28 league goals. I think he deserves it, to be honest. Um, Wow. I mean, I mean, closest to a brilliant player, isn't he? But I think we can safely say that we... I don't think we overachieved. I think we pretty much did what was expected. Um, I know the board didn't expect us to get promoted till next season, but I think that we we, we really should have been getting promoted. Um, McGillivray needs a new contract. I like him. I think that he's on 2k a week. He definitely does deserve more than that. Um, hmm. Oh, he's happy. I just said, I know you're influential, but I can't just go around giving out contracts. He's happy with that. So, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the episode here because obviously we need to <laughs> digest what's happened now. Um, I think <clears throat> I'm trying to work out what I want to do with this next episode because I'd like to get some feedback from you guys, sort of what, what you want to see from an end of season review, but at the same time, I want to get through it because this sort of pre-season takes so long and I want <laughs> It takes so long to get through, but I want to do it before, sort of, because I want this episode to go out, maybe, I might, I think I'm going to change the days around, because if I do Sunday, I don't want to then be forced to do Monday as well, because then I, you know, it puts me in a position where I then have to get the next one out by Wednesday, so, no, 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 no that's silly, that's silly of me, if we're coming to crunch time, this episode's going to go out on Monday, um, so you'll see this on Monday, I will try and wait until, um, I want to oh, I don't know how I want to do this we'll see I haven't decided yet but leave any feedback it's gonna this episode's gonna go out on Monday leave any feedback and hopefully I won't have recorded the next episode by the time you see it um or maybe I'll put the, the Monday episode out midday maybe 12 o'clock so there's time for me to then record on Monday evening the next episode so that'll be really nice to see um got a couple of players come back on loan obviously Hawkins is gonna get released but McGee could be quite good um yeah so Thank you very much for your support. I do appreciate, um, obviously, Connor for giving him the feedback. And actually, sometimes if I'm not really in the mood and I see a comment that he's left, it's like, okay, actually, someone is interested in watching. Um, and that gives me a bit more motivation to do this. I'm absolutely delighted with getting promoted. 
I'm delighted with our budgets for next season. I'm hoping we can really push on and maybe secure sort of mid-table in the championship. Um, like I said, I wanted to get to Europe after six seasons. So if we can secure mid-table in the championship and then maybe push for promotion in the following season, that would be amazing. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it because of our budgets are good, but not amazing. Um, you know, a lot of championship teams, they get sort of 20 mil, 30 mil to spend. We got four, but I think we could do some good business. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care and goodbye.